What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Protest Sports. Now, your boy Tone. I'm back with another video. If I get to an AGT, your glory to God. If I got to right now, God's open door. People, I got your name pretty much today's video. Got a free agency plan for y'all for the Washington Commanders. That also includes trades as well. I have a couple of trades as well I'm going to talk about. I won't put the whole spot track thing and do the whole cap number thing, but uh, the app was not working how I wanted to work. I was trying to do it on. So I will not be doing that today, uh, but I will give you guys that I'm a target in free agency and why and the numbers we should probably pay them at. And also what guys we should cut because there need to be more cuts to be made. It's not enough cuts to be made. And players either trade away or trade for. So let's start with the whole Lamar Jackson thing. Uh, we're not going to Lamar. I want to talk about that very briefly. We're not going to go after Lamar. I'm not be surprised if we don't go after Lamar. Um I just think that right now, get up two ones for a superstar quarterback would be great in any other city but here. We just don't have an offensive line, and we don't. We got a defensive tackle that we have on the franchise tag that we need to figure out we need to pay or not. We also got guys like Cameron Curl who are due for an extension. Montez Sweat, maybe Chase Young. It's just too much going on right now in DC, and an ownership change is coming. So it's just too much going on in D.C. right now for us even to think about Lamar. So no Lamar. I will not be doing, oh, we need to get Lamar Jackson. Da, da, da. If you're looking for that, ha, ain't happening in today's video. But you guys, guys who should cut and guys who should go ahead and pick up in free agency and why. So guys who should cut. Let's start with the guys who should cut. Uh, Charles Leno Jr., he has to go. I'm sorry. I don't hear about the whole award pay a man of year award. I don't care. Uh, he's not a good tackle. He's decent at best. He's average at best. And I'm tired of mediocre. Charles Leno can go. Let's start with him. Number two, uh, Logan Thomas. I know Ron spoke very highly of him. And it seems like he's not going anywhere. And I don't understand if you want to keep him. He is 32 years of age. You can get a little younger at the position, but still get a veteran. And still probably paid around the same amount of money you're paying to Logan. It also frees you up another $5.2 million in cap space. Uh, another guy, guy, guy right here, Bobby McCain, all right, we, already, we already did a video about Bobby getting cut. Wentz is gone, of course. I think we need to make a quick decision on Deron, like I said in my Deron Payne video. You even need to trade him or pay him. Figure it out. And don't wait till the 11th hour. I, I, that, that's not going to help the cap situation. We need players, and we need players now, and we need to improve this roster around this young quarterback because we're not going after Lamar. So go ahead and get that done and figure out what you're going to do. Because me, I'm moving them. Because I'm not giving another defensive tackle another $17, $18, 19000000 million a season. Sorry. Where I pay one, you drafted a guy in the second round to already replace him, go with your plan. Don't suck up now and pay him now because he had one great season. Nah. Now nah, you do things around it. Think smart. Play chess, not checkers. So, in order for your cash space, I'm moving to Ron Payne. I'm cutting Charles Leno. Cutting Logan Thomas. I'm cutting Andrew Norwell. And that was it, I think. You could be froggy and cut Kendall Fuller. I'm not. I'm actually going to restructure his contract and give him a small extension. Same with Curtis Samuel. So I'll lower their cap number by $3 million a piece this year by getting extensions. I think Curtis Samuel deserves one. I think that Kendall Fuller is only 27 years old. Why not keep him around for a couple more years and let your other corners develop? And once they develop, you can let them walk and just get a compensatory pick. Why not? So that being said, all those moves, between all those moves, you save about $35, $36 million in cash space. Right now, the commanders have about $16.5 million in cash space. That boosts up to $52.5 million in cash space. Now, what do you do with that cash space? Number one, you replace the left tackle position. And who better than Orlando Brown Jr. to replace said position? I'll give him five years, $110 million. Mm -hmm. 75 guaranteed upon signing. And 
I would make his cap number $12.5 million for this season. Start with that. So now that puts you from 52.5 to $40 million. Next, you need to re-sign Jeremy Reeves and also Russ Weiter. We'll combine those contracts about $7 million per year combined, and their cap numbers for the first year will be $4 million combined. So that puts you at 36. So you resign some of your own, and you got to go to Orlando Brown. Next thing we should do is go ahead and sign a guy that's going to help the offensive line. Another guy. You got West Weitzer. You brought in Orlando Brown. Oh, cut Chase Fulier, too. So that puts you at another $4 million of cap space on top of everything. And I think they're cutting Chase Fulier. I'm pretty sure they're going to be doing that. Uh, we'll get to the draft. We'll draft the center. So we'll draft the center. Uh, but we'll draft the center. Next thing, look at right guard. You kick Cosby inside. That's the next thing you should do. Kick Cosby inside. And your right tackle, we should sign Andrew Wiley to three years, $21 million. I said, you already got the 4.3 miles you're going to recoup from Chase Roulier. So you're going to pay 2.7. That puts you from $36 million to about $33.3 million in cash space. And you acquire Andrew Wiley, Orlando Brown Jr., you retain Wes Schweitzer, and you retain Jeremy Reeves. Now, next guy we should retain is Cole Holcomb. We need help at the linebacker position, and Cole Holcomb has been solid for us. I will say three years, six, $18 million. Uh, we'll get it done, so six per. Uh, this cap number his first year will be $5.5 million which will lower you down to about $27.5 million of cap space at that point. We're going to make one more big move. One more. It's not a big move, actually. Trading for Desmond King. Uh, sending a fifth and sixth round pick, respectively, a fifth next this year and a sixth in 2024 uh, for Desmond King services from the Houston Texans. He can play nickel, and also, more importantly, he can be your punt returner and kick returner, and that gives you a lot of versatility and positional flex for Ron Rivera. In a final sign, uh, and, and I think Desmond King's cap number, let me look at it real quick because I don't think it's that high. It's probably like uh, $2.5, maybe $3 million, something like that around that range, no more than $4 million. I don't think it's not a big contract, so the King just contract real quick. Um, yeah, so let's see what his cap number is. His cap number is okay. His cap number is actually five million dollars. So you have about twenty-seven and a half. You're looking at twenty-two and a half. And the last move I would make: signing Hayden Hurst. Two years, 12, uh, three years, $12 million. His cap number this first year will be 3.5. So I put you around $19.5 million in cap space, and you have acquired Desmond King via trade, Hayden Hurst, Orlando Brown. You have retained Wes Schweitzer, uh, Jeremy Reeves, Cole Holcomb, and Andrew Wiley. Those are the players you have acquired um, via a free agency. So that puts you at 19.5 cap in cap space. You do lose Deron Payne, though, but understandably so. You can't pay everybody, and keeping Deron a tag is absolutely foolish. You need to do something with that, and if you're not going to pay him, which I don't think they're going to pay him, they need to move him. So that's going to do it for me, man. I hope you guys enjoy my free agency plan for the Washington Commanders. What are your thoughts on this uh, free agency plan? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's doing too much? Also did extend two guys' contracts as well in Kendall Fuller and Curtis Samuel. So what are your thoughts on this? Like, comment, subscribe to the Protest Sports Network. Also, turn on post notifications. Always catch the Protest Sports Video at the Protest Sports Network. Guys, for God, for sake, this COVID, this monkeypox, and everything going on in this world. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive, most importantly, stay blessed. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Till next time, be easy. Peace, cuz.